this may be one of those videos where uh, it kind of all goes off the rails, like off the rails, or not. Uh, had a very long couple of days and a very uh, frustrating little bits of personal life stuff. So uh, I think that's coloring my about to be pronounced commentary. So we need to kind of take it all with a grain of salt. And I think it is, uh, what time we got here? Yeah, it's, it's 20 past six in the evening which I suppose is 20 past six in the afternoon in some places. And uh, I'm having my, you know, my first cocktail and it's pretty good. And uh, thinking about having my second one real soon because I need to blow a little steam off. And usually digging into a game and focusing in on a rule set or a tactical problem or a strategic problem or a set of operational constraints or whatever the case may be, is something that's incredibly immersive for me and, and, and the world goes away and uh, I, can, I can forget everything else that's going on, you know. Uh, I've got this kind of little bugbear on my shoulder uh, this week uh, about this new gig that I'm about to start that's just annoying because it's a significant lifestyle change and it's also a uh, that's going to you know impact the, my family dynamic and it's also going to impact my uh, my gaming lifestyle as well <clears throat> so with all that in mind over the last two or three months i found myself beginning to play games and getting to a certain point in them uh, various stages where I just go, what am I doing and why am I doing this with a particular title? And, and I've gone back to those titles and revisited them over the last couple of months just to make sure that my first impression was either correct or that uh, I wasn't being too harsh or that I had perhaps played something wrong or whatever the case may be. And I'm wondering if this is a fundamental change in my approach to gaming or it's a situational change to my gaming. So hence my, my preamble about lifestyle changes. So <clears throat> I'm sitting here playing Victory Roads and I just realized that I wrote Roads to Victory on a, <laughs> on a, on a Facebook post. On a blog post, awesome. I can't get the fucking name right of this game, but it kills me. So, I'm playing Victory Roads. Thank you, dog. And that's exactly how I feel. I don't know if you heard that sigh, but I'm finding myself doing a couple of things. First of all, I'm looking to cherry pick as the Soviets where to punch holes. Secondly, as the Germans, I'm trying to shuffle units from north to south down the line to meet where the holes are. Move a unit two hexes, move a unit two hexes, move a unit two hexes. That guy move two, take that guy, move him two, take that guy, move him two. Why am I, why am I doing that? Um, my breakthroughs have not really been substantial breakthroughs for the Soviets. They've kind of... Uh, Maybe I need to give this a little bit more time, but it, they're, they're kind of, yeah, I'm almost getting through. And I'm at that point where I'm thinking, wow, I, this is nice rule book, nice components, nice charts, well done, interesting topic, and I could give zero fucks about this game at the moment. And I'm just, I'm really kind of disappointed because I think it's a good game. I think the system's kind of cool, but the way that I'm playing it or the way that it, it needs to be played, it, it's not it's not fun, it's not interesting, it's not engaging, it's not getting me excited. I'm, uh, you know, I'm looking at the Hitler track, uh, Hitler approval rating thing, and I'm thinking that's kind of cool. It hasn't really had too much effect yet. I'm looking at the support chip 
mechanic that's there that, you know, do you collect up a bunch of uh, support chits and then uh, launch a, a second large offensive or do you use them uh, up to flip guys to reinforce the reinforced mode side? So I'm looking at this game going, wow, I'm not really sure that I'm, a, I'm having an awesome time here. And I look back, I look over at uh, my gameplay of uh, The Return of the Emperor, La Return, La Retour, and that's an interesting game. I'm re I just reset it. I got a couple of two, three turns into it and realized I kind of goofed up some things that were pretty substantial and want to, you know, restart. And I'm having trouble finding one particular counter that I, I just, I think it may have been vacuumed up into the bag. So don't buy that game from me if I put it up for sale, if I forget and put it up for sale. Um, or if I drop dead next week and my wife sells all my freaking games, don't buy that game because I think it's missing a piece. Uh, <laughs> so I'm looking at that game and I'm thinking, oh man, I can't find that piece. Oh, well, maybe I should just pack it up. But if I pack it up, I know I'll never get it out again. And I really want to play it because I think it's a cool system. Now I've got this, you know, the Pacific War set up. On the uh, on the magnet board there, and that I'm, I'm, I'm a little there's a little of uh, a little bit of frustration with the rule structure in that game, but everything's very very clear and very concise. Not concise, it's verbose. Uh, in fact, if it was more concise, it'd be more playable. I actually took all the rules and ripped them all apart and put them back into gameplay order for the advanced game. And that's helping a little bit, but um, I'm surprised at how uh, you know the wordiness of the rules is getting in the way of the looking up things and playing stuff. So I'm hoping that that's gonna work out. Coral Sea scenario that we're gonna play, I'm actually gonna play that with a buddy of mine, Richard sometime in the next couple of months, probably after he gets back from Europe and I've got to go to Europe too. So I think we'll both uh, be away. So that's going to be up for three or four months before we actually get to it, but it's all organized and set up and I've played one scenario and I may try and play a little bit of this scenario by myself just to goof around with it. And I'm not so frustrated with that, right? Uh, so I'm really wondering well, what's going on with my gaming my attitude to gaming. I'm not excited about uh, a lot of the new titles I'm playing, and I'm not necessarily that that thrilled with you know kind of my old staples and favorites either. I was playing a tactical game the other day, and I you know went through the some wrote an AAR and played, and it's, it's kind of like well, okay, that was fun. I think it might be time to take a little a little. Uh, pause on new game consumption and uh, maybe try and replenish my um, creative juices or whatever it may be or my uh, or find them use I don't know uh, anyway I'm not even sure that what the point of that post was like I said it's going to be a kind of a ramble um, I don't know it's it's one of those things where you get you get into this groove of, of you know playing a game and cranking through it and really enjoying it. And the next thing you know, you're you're three months down the track and you've played the game and you think, wow, that was awesome. And then you get another game out and you play it, another game to play it. And then you kind of take a step back and go, wow, uh, did I do all that right? Was I enjoying that? Uh, I don't know. How do you guys handle your your uh, pauses and frustrations with titles? I'm I'm curious about that. I feel like I'm becoming jaded with titles, uh, in, in in a way that is not healthy. In in a way that uh, it's look, you know, oh yeah, it's kind of a good game, but and and I think sometimes I'm doing a disservice to the titles that I'm playing, and I really want to get more out of them. 
uh, for myself. I, you know, whether you watch the videos I do or listen to my comments or opinions of the game, it doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is that I'm getting this rich uh, gameplay, historical experience, and it's not just some rote and mechanistic exercise. And the last couple of games I've played, I've felt very mechanical about it. It's like, okay, boom, 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 done, next, boom, 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 done, next, and I, and I, and I want to do, that's not why I'm in this hobby. I'm in this hobby because there's great stories here. There are fascinating designers who've made awesome games that we need to explore together and, and I need to get the stories out of them and I want to I wanna have them up here in my head and try and share them with you. It's not making any sense, is it? You're thinking, what the fuck is this guy talking about? All right.